What's going on YouTube? Ollie Dope, I'm checking in once again and Happy New Year! Welcome back, man. I'm excited to present to you guys this new idea that I had. When you're working on art, you have to be inspired by all different types of art to influence your art. So art is it, just imitating life. So this concept I came up with, I had a lot of things going on in my mind, a lot of ideas, especially for this channel coming into the new year. So I said, what better way to express myself than through art? Today, we're gonna to be working on a surreal photo design. This piece was inspired by Salvador Dali and the surreal art movement. Dali, if you don't know, is one of the masters of the surrealist painting movement. Known for his painting, The Persistence of Memory, he changed the game and what it means to be an artist. I was personally inspired by him when I found out about him in school and I just dove deep into some of his works. The word surrealist suggests beyond reality. Since the beginning, the ideas and art associated with the surrealism have been liberation of artistic expressions. Surreal artists draw inspiration from mythicism, ancient cultures, indigenous art, and knowledges as a way of imagining alternate realities or depicting dream worlds. So basically, create whatever the f you want. All right, we're gonna be working with a four by five image. This is the dimensions. It's gonna be 1080 by 1350. I was really inspired by some surrealist designs lately. So like I said, we went downtown, took some cool pictures, me and my friend. I had an idea in mind already from some inspiration that I saw. So I just went, went ahead and took some photos. I feel like that's pretty cool. I, I don't know. We had a good time. It was quick. It took about like an hour, hour and a half. I got a fly fit together. I actually made this t-shirt. So that's cool. I wanted to show off my t-shirt and my frames. I love those frames. This one kind of looks like cool. I see you. This one gives like style and flair. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. Pretty much the idea I'm going for for this is something about juggling life, like juggling so many obstacles, so many ideas be going on in my head sometimes. I just, sometimes I just don't do anything. There just be so much going on sometimes and I don't know, life becomes so much and it's just like I'd rather do nothing. So this is about that, juggling all the people in my head, all the me's. Um, so I went, took the main image. I took a bunch of pictures of me falling, feeling like it would be a miniature version of me. So I took a bunch of pictures like that, as you can see. Now, we're gonna speed it up, cut all those images out, and then we're gonna start placing them inside the image. Be back in a second. Okay, so I just cut out all the images and I'm about to lay them down on the canvas. So my idea for this is probably trying to get like a, a juggle type Bob, as you can see, it all the colors match, everything matches because I took it all in the same atmosphere. It looks like like if I just left it right there, that look be, that would look cool. I get some clicks on the timeline, like that. Like yo, how'd you you feel me? Like you feel me? Just be different. So we're just gonna lay them out. Look at that. I think that is so cool. You could do a gift with just all these. I don't know a falling downwards motion like I just got thrown up and it's supposed to be a bunch of me's so yeah let's try this one boom and we're gonna get to all the coloring and all that stuff too because I'm not trying to do too much with it and I'm still trying to figure out what size I want these people to be So this one looks pretty cool. Probably add some drop shadow onto in this area because I feel like that would be the most cool. Boom. Following this way. Yeah. So we're going to start with this one. Then this one. This one's not too complicated, you guys. It's kind of like this one was more planned out. I thought about, I thought about it more. Try to make them about the same size. Okay, but 
this one is going here. I like this one. Zoom the canvas out. And I think with this one, I want to kind of invert it. So we're going to transform this one. Boom. Yes, and I, I did it so I like it, it fell. So when I was shooting the picture, I kind of grabbed my jacket and pulled it back a little bit just so it looks like somebody was pulling it or it was falling. Boom, try to make them the same size. Like I keep telling you guys, boom, same, about the same size. This one's gonna be like overhead a little bit, like right there. This one's right there. Like I said, you still make got to make it look realistic. So we're going to start adding a few fake shadows and stuff in a second. We're going to add a little bit of motion blur into it too. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Boom. So it looks like I'm falling. From this side. Try to make them about the same size. Like I said. Here we go. Then I go, I put this one here. It looks a little bit smaller. Boom. This one is cool right there. Make it about the same size from head to toe. Boom. This one will probably be falling into my hand. Can make it look like it was falling from this one so we're gonna make it look like it was falling from right here like i said about the same size right there you're gonna be like what is that i'm like hey that's me <laughs> so i feel like it looks cool how it is but i do want to add a little bit more like realism to it it feels kind of like all right it's kind of like pick them and pluck them and put them right there you would see some shadows as I know I took the photo, so I know the light is coming from the right. So I do want to add a few shadows that would be hitting the light that would be hitting on my own person. So that's just me particular. I'm going to go ahead and group these up. This one is hitting from this side. So this would be coming, this light would be hitting on this side here. And I think for this one I need to flip it edit transform flip because the light is coming from the opposite side I right, go ahead and copy this right underneath it make it this Ooh, color overlay make it black boom this is two ways to do it Filter, blur, and I'm going to just add a little Gaussian blur on there. Stronger one, so it looks like shadowish. Boom. Turn this main one back on. Turn this one off to the side. Turn it down a little bit so it matches kind of the shadow colors that's already given. And for real, for if you want to be like anal with it, color overlay, click this. I'm going to click the same shadow colors. So it gives me the same exact like transparency. I think that looks cool. Yeah, it gives it that, that slight like realism. And we're gonna name that shadow. Everyone that got a shadow is gonna go underneath. So this one, I'm gonna do this one only because it would be hitting a shadow right underneath here. So go ahead and do the same thing. Copy the whole settings from the last one and just paste it. it in the hand and then we're just gonna go ahead and mask mask it around the hand so it looks realistic my hands look crazy I didn't even get to get a manicure um, before the shoot I just kind of went but we're gonna fix that too 
it wouldn't be showing over top of the hand because you want it to look like the hand is catching it. So you wouldn't see any of these shadows inside. You would only see the shadows in here. And you wouldn't even see nothing hitting this wall because the creature is so small. So I'm just cleaning up my shirt, making it clean as can be. Getting away all these little imperfections. What you call retouch. Like I said, look at my hand. My fingers are mangled. I made them by hand. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. My fingers are mangled. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fix my fingernails. Like, ugh. We're gonna go with Splin Blur only because all of these joints need to have some sort of Give it that blur ski. Give it that blur ski, yes sir ski. Alright. After that, bring the image back. Put that underneath. I'll name this people blur just so I can have it. And as you can see, it gives every image just enough. I'm gonna put it over top. I'm gonna put a mask on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just erase all the stuff that I don't want to be blurred. Go ahead. Opacity down now. Boom. Increase this just a little bit. I want it more on the outside. I don't really want it more on the actual image itself. You feel me? Boom. Add the blur on there just a little bit. Boom. On the blur, you're gonna probably screen it or lighten. Keep it normal. Bring the opacity down a little bit to like 70. Cause it's there, but it's not so damn strong. There you go. Good medium. Pretty much clear cut for this one. It's all about the concepts. It's all about the concepts, man. If you don't have no like set concept in mind, then it's gonna be hard to do whatever you're trying to do. So I really like this piece, man. Uh, this is the final product. Uh, if this piece inspired you guys in any way, shape or form, please like, comment most importantly, and subscribe. Keep hustling keep creating, and most importantly, keep learning. Until next time, you guys, adios.